hello welcome to this channel my name is Nyamiche Boateng happy to have you here on this channel and guys I want to talk to you about the trending news about Thomas Partey now in world football and Thomas Partey is trending Thomas Ted Partey is trending and one on the negative side one on the positive side I want, to, I want you to stay here and let's go guys thank you so guys Zinchenko Alexander Zinchenko comes from Ukraine. Ukraine in Europe and Ukraine is known for a lot of things in world football. And now, if you if you, anybody who's world football knows that a player like Shevchenko came from Ukraine. And now Zinchenko is a former Manchester City player. Oh yeah, I'm wearing, I'm wearing Manchester City today. Manchester City, yes. Zinchenko plays for now plays for us now after leaving Manchester City last season and that's amazing for him and you know Pep Guardiola bought him for less than 1 million pounds and he left City for 45 million euros to us now and he's not saying that Partey, Thomas Ter Partey, the Ghanaian top is better than Rudri, Casemiro and Fernandinho but you know I want you to watch this video here and tell me what you think about this video. Wait, wait, sit here. Let's watch this video. Who's probably the most underrated player in your eyes in the Premier League? I think Thomas Partey. Really? Yes. Is he better than Casemiro for you? He's yeah. absolutely world-class player as well, Casemiro. We Five know, Champions which we League, know. Say, say about. But for me, if you want me to choose one, Thomas Partey. Oh, thank you very much. I had debate in my head. Yeah. Who is actually the best holder midfielder I ever played with? The debate was between Fernandinho, yeah. Thomas Partey, and Rodri. But Thomas Partey is, I don't know. But it's, 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 it's. Listen, I mean, like. <laughs> Rio, Rio's left the room. He, he has everything. Rodri is absolutely fit so, so well for City system. If you take him out, it's different city. He's like the main detail there. Because for me, at City, this is the hardest, the toughest, the hardest position to play. It's the hardest. And Rodri fits, suits, suits there so well. Quality. Not over, overall Quality. qualities. You, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Zinchenko is saying that the Ghanaian midfield dynamo, Thomas Tepati, is better than Rodri, Fernandinho, and Casemiro. As a matter of fact, he's saying that Thomas Tepati is underrated. And for me, it is not really a bad statement because watching Thomas Partey very clearly, Thomas Partey is really underrated. Which midfield in this world will Thomas Partey not start? I think I agree with him. Better than Casemiro. As for that one, we have to come back again. Better than Fernandinho. It's not very, it's not very, it's not, it's not far from the truth. You get it. Thomas Partey has flair. Thomas Partey has skill. Thomas Partey has has the fire in his in his balls but Arsenal fans are not rating him Arsenal fans are underrating Thomas Partey this is what Olesena Zinchenko is telling you you are underrating Thomas Partey but let's look at Thomas Partey's strengths when it comes to passing the ball playing that number 6 register role Thomas Ter Partey is, is second to none because he can dictate he can dictate the, the tempo of the game from his number 6 when it comes to his pass selection when it comes to Calming down the tempo. Thomas Partey does everything very well. I think Zinchenko is not really far from the truth. Oh my god, one player. Thomas Partey can play the right back row. If push comes to shove, Thomas Partey can play even the center back row. He can play the DM row. He can even play the center. Even at Ghana, at times he's deployed as a number 10 row and he performs very well. I think the only position he can really play is the number 9 and then the wing that position. You get it. So I think it's not really far from from what is from the truth. Zinchenko is saying some truth. But let me know what you think about this. Let me know. I think Thomas Partey is really better than all these players that he's saying. He's a good player, very, very good player for for us now. This coming from Zini is something that carries weight. Because Zini has played with Rodri and Fernandinho. Zini the same player too has played with Thomas Partey and saying Thomas Partey is better than them. And I think it's really something that carries a lot of weight and it is true. Also talk about why Partey is training negatively. You know, during this weekend, eh, during this weekend, Thomas Partey played for Arsenal in the match against Fulham at home at the Emirates. And Thomas Partey 
was really influential. You know, normally Thomas Barclay's preferred position is to play the the DM role, the number six role in the Arsenal. But you see, when as soon as um, Declan Rice entered this team, I don't know what's wrong with Ateta. Ateta prefers to deploy Thomas step out as a right back. Let it be known very clearly that Thomas Partey used to play right back at at Atletico Madrid, but his preferred position is a DM. And you know, playing this game, eh, playing this game, Thomas Partey played a very good game. He had a 7.8 rating on football. But the first goal that Arsenal conceded, it was a direct back pass, back pass from Saka, Bukayo Saka, the star boy, Bukayo Saka. Pass the ball and the uh, Andre Pereira pounced onto the ball and then scored a goal against Ramsdale. But there are a section of Twitter fans saying that that goal is supposed to be blamed or Pate is the person responsible for, for that goal. I want you to read this tweet. Let's read this tweet. That goal was down to Thomas Pate. Saka made the pass, but Pate triggered the event by dropping to the back line. Oh my god, I can't understand how you can blame that goal on Thomas Dare Party. I can't understand. I can't understand. The disrespect on Thomas Party's name is too much. Guys, Party is a top class midfielder. And Thomas Party must not be blamed for that goal. How do you blame Thomas Party for a back pass when Saka made that pass? Thomas Party is someone that Arsenal must rate and hold very well because you see, they will come to a point where Arsenal will need him. And if Ateta wants to compete for this season's, this season's Premier League, deploy Declan Rice and Thomas Partey in the middle of the pack and see what you can get. Guys, what do you think about this? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I don't know why they are disrespecting Thomas Terry Partey to that level, guys. We'll be back to bring you back to back football content on YouTube. Thank you for watching this video. The best is yet to come.